Hey guys, it's a deadly kitten here. If you are new here, welcome. We do a lot of unboxings. Today is going to be no different. Today we are getting into what is going to be probably the last for a while, which is the Elite Poke Box. I know we just started this, um, but they ended up having their whole entire warehouse go underwater due to the flooding from Hurricane Ida. Um, and because of that, they lost thousands of dollars, and they were able to do this. They said this last one, and they canceled everyone's subscription, and they said, maybe see you guys in January. So, this is just me opening, and then right up front looks like a Pokedex. Basically, it says the same thing. It says, together we are the tribe, but let's make it special from... All of us here at Elite Pokebox, you'll never be forgotten. So, and then the important video. They did start a new thing called Pokebox Revive, which I did buy as well just to help them out. Where they're going to be sending us like a pack a month plus some stickers and a pin. Basically just to help them out a little bit. This was this month's pin right here. Is a beautiful Charizard. And then on this side we have Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain, two battle styles, and two Evolving Skies, and two Vivid Voltage. And then here is the stickers, which I do think too that they had to get reprinted as well because um, everything was lost in the flood. So, let's go from oldest to newest. So, we're going to start with the Vivid Voltage. So, like I said, I did sign up for the Revive. I did also buy some stuff off of their store as well. So, hopefully that comes in. Um, I was refunded because they ended up giving me... Um, I bought the EV tins from them. And they never came in because... Obviously, like, most of their product was underwater. So, like, they never, I never got them, but they did refund me. And I did get refunded for September as well. But they did end up canceling everybody's, um, order. So, unfortunately, until they can get back up on their feet and get more stock, There'll be no more Elite Pokebox, but that's why, like I said, I bought the Revive, which is, I think it was like 55 bucks, for it, and that's for all three months total. So, that's still not bad. Even for one pack, it helps them out, like I said, and that's the more important thing, is just helping people out. And then I also, well, I'll talk about that later. But yeah, I ended up going on their site because they started doing, um, ooh, I don't think, I actually never even got out any sleeves. What? I need to get more sleeves. Well, I need better sleeves. I have a bunch of sleeves. I just don't have the good sleeves. I have the crappy sleeves. Okay, so next up would be Battle Styles. So, so far we are one for two out of eight. So we'll see how this goes. So far, I think almost every energy has been fire, it feels like. But they were doing fuse. I forget, is it Fusion Strike? What the, whatever the next set, ooh, okay, Corviknight. Whatever the next set is supposed to be, um, they were, not Celebrations, because I know that's the actual next set, 
But, uh, because I bought, I actually bought some celebration stuff off of them too. I bought one thing off of them because everything went so quickly. And, like, usually I'm very fast at buying things. But, uh, because the one thing that I wanted to get, which was the Pikachu, um, Pikachu statue, as soon as I even clicked on it, they were already sold out. So far, we're at 50%. So that's not bad. Next up is Chilling Rain. Which I feel like I haven't opened enough of. I'm not sure. But, uh, so Celebrations is actually coming out next week. And I'm excited. Because next week is also my birthday as well. So it's like, for my birthday, like a whole bunch of Celebration stuff is coming out. So it's like, surprise! But, uh, I bought, I ended up getting the Elite Trainer Box off of them, so that should be shipping here shortly. And then, I think I ended up getting the Lunch Box, I'm not sure. I bought something, no, I got the Mini Tins off of GameStop. Like, literally, I've been trying to get the Collector's Chest. And I have not been able to get the collector's chest. Come on. Focus. For celebrations. And I've been trying. So. I have also still not gotten the Pikachu statue. So there is that. We were doing so well. We were 50% and now we're what? Four or two? Going into Evolving Skies. Last two. If I can get this open. Man, this thing didn't want to open. Come on. I don't know why my phone is just acting super funky. But I haven't opened a lot of Evolving Skies either, so this is going to be fun for me. Although the cut, it looks like horrible on this. I don't know if that's just me or if, that, if you guys think so too. Like, it just looks short up top. Than what it does on the bottom. Okay. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic, maybe, with the Sylveon. See if Sylveon wants to open, because Umbreon didn't want to open. Nope, Sylveon definitely doesn't want to open. Times where I wish I had scissors. Now I don't know. I don't think I can do the card trick. I just dropped the whole pack. I'm gonna try to do the card trick. So I apologize if it does not work. Or if they're upside down or whatnot. Upside down, Ampleton. But yeah, that was everything for this box. It still wasn't a bad box. I still enjoy this. Uh, like I said, I signed up for the revive from them. There just won't be any more Elite Poke boxes going forward until they can release more. But yeah, that was everything that I have for this video. Um, if you do wish to go and subscribe to the revive, um. It is elitepokebox.com slash revive right here once more. But yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.